In this video, I'll show you how to add a table of contents in Word. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing we need to do in the process of adding a table of contents is we need to go and add headings and subheadings because this is what makes up a table of contents. And at the moment, I don't have any of those. So in this case, firstly, I want to come over to introduction and I've highlighted it. And then what you need to do is make sure home is selected and we've got these different options for headings. So in this case, we this is going Going to be heading one and then if I had say subtopics that would then be um, heading two so the main topic wants to be heading one so I'll tap there and then I'll scroll down and I'll do the same thing for this part one option here I'll go and highlight it and then make it heading one and I'll do the same thing for part two highlight it and make it a heading one as well and then I've also got my conclusion down here, which I'll highlight and make a heading one. And now for example, I've got these options here, like what does it mean in the analysis? I'd then go and make this the heading two because these are sort of the subtopics in a way. So I'll go and highlight that there and then make a heading two and do the same thing for analysis. So once you've gone and added headings and um, subheadings and other headings and things, now we can go and add the table of contents. So go and choose where you want it to appear. In my case, I want it to be here on sort of the title page, I guess, but you may want another page after this. It doesn't matter, it's just however you want to lay it out. And then what you need to do is go to references in the top left and then go across the table of contents and go and tap on this downwards arrow. And then it's gonna go and show us uh, the different options. So as you can see, we've got the automatic ones and I just tend to use those. So yeah, I'm gonna go for this automatic table one. I'll click on it and there we go. I've now gone and added it. And as you can see, it has pushed these others down. So I'm just gonna go and push them back up like this. And the other thing to note when adding your table of contents as well, it's going to go and give page numbers. And as you can see, I don't actually have any in the bottom yet. So what I'd recommend doing is then adding page numbers numbers as well. To do that, just go to the top left and tap on insert. And then what you can do is go across until you go and see page number and then click on it and you can choose where you want them to be. I'll have them in the bottom of the page in the middle. So I'll click here like so, plain number two, and it'll take a moment to add them. And there we go, we've now gone and added them. And it just means it's gonna go and correlate with the table of contents. And then I'll just click on close, header and footer, and there we go, that's it. And you can also go and edit the table of contents as well if you go and click on it. And what you can do is go and highlight it all like this and you can go and change the font size and you could also go and and change the font as well and you know edit it to however you desire basically and if you go back to references that you can also go and tap on update table as well and if you've added more headings and things like that it's then going to go and update it so you will update entire table and then it'll go and do that for you if you guys found this video useful please consider leaving a like base